Whoosh! Your spaceship is almost there! Thanks to the latest technologies, you can now travel to any planet in our solar system faster than ever before. And we can finally visit other planets completely safely. You applied for a space tour, and now you're on a ship with your guide, astronauts, and a couple of other passengers. First stop, the smallest planet in our solar system, Mercury. It's only a third of Earth's distance to the Sun. The view is going to be spectacular. As soon as your ship lands on the solid surface of this rocky planet, you see an endless universe. Stars, passing comets, and the Sun, three times bigger than we see it from Earth, with no clouds to interfere with the view. There are no moons. Mercury and Venus don't have any. You try to move, but because of your spacesuit and reduced gravity, it feels like you're on a trampoline in a slow-motion movie. It's not safe to come here during the day. On Mercury, it lasts almost 59 Earth days. Although your spacesuit keeps you safe, temperatures can get pretty extreme. During the day, they go up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no atmosphere to keep the heat, so temperature during the night can drop down to minus 290 degrees. That's why Mercury isn't the hottest planet, even though it's closest to the Sun. Venus is the second closest, but it has an atmosphere that retains the heat. You're safe in your special spacesuit, but it will still be really hard to go through such drastic temperature changes, so you need to hurry. Mercury has weaker gravity because it weighs less than Earth, which means the gravity on Mercury pulls less on your body. If a person weighs 100 pounds on Earth, they'd weigh 38 pounds on Mercury. And you do feel lighter. Hurry up, we don't have much time! You hear your guide's voice in your spacesuit. He's standing next to you, pointing his finger. Look to your left! That's why we're here! Caloris Basin. Amazing! Mercury has such a thin atmosphere, there's nothing to protect the planet from asteroids slamming into its surface. It has the most craters in our solar system, which is why it reminds you of the Moon. And now you're there, looking at the Caloris Basin, the biggest impact crater in the entire solar system, formed almost 4 billion years ago by an object at least 60 miles long. You can see its rocky interior, filled with deep fractures and high, sharp ridges, surrounded by the highest mountains you can find on this planet, towering two miles above numerous lava vents. They used to be active. The other side that's hidden from the sun has tiny deposits of ice, which is the only form of water here. But you don't have time to see it. Mercury is only a temporary stop before you keep moving. As soon as you get comfortable on the ship, you see your guide approaching you. Eh, we can't stop on Venus, he says. Sometimes we can at least get closer to the surface, if not land and go out. But today, <laughs> the winds are crazy. They're usually a little over 220 miles per hour, and they keep the yellow or bright white clouds of the planet in constant motion. Volcanic activity formed the surface of Venus. 90% of it is solidified basalt lava, so it might not be the best place to visit anyway. Also, it has a dense atmosphere. While inside the spaceship, you get a video call on the special space communication system from your friend. She took some time off a little bit earlier than you did and went to Jupiter. Now Jupiter is a gas giant, so there's nowhere you can land. Also, the pressure is really strong. It squishes gas into a liquid, so Jupiter's atmosphere could crush any metal spaceship that goes through the colorful clouds like it's made of paper. Visitors mostly take day trips to see it, cruising in their spaceships, taking pictures from above. It's crazy because that planet is like a stormy whirlpool of wind, and it has the brightest auroras in the entire solar system. Your friend even saw the Great Red Spot. It's a giant oval-shaped storm moving in a counterclockwise direction. It was amazing! The red spot is four times bigger than Earth. But the real treat was Europa, Jupiter's sixth moon. Scientists believe it's young because of its smooth and relatively untouched surface. Europa is a big oceanic world with all the right ingredients for life we haven't discovered yet. They even offer you tours where you try to discover if there's anything waiting under a thick ice shelf. Visitors have to wear some special, extra-protective spacesuits because Europa receives huge amounts of radiation from Jupiter. And there's Io, another one of Jupiter's moons, which is colorful and just the most beautiful thing ever. It's the place with more volcanic activity than Earth and has the most active volcanoes in our solar system. Over 400 volcanoes! 150 of them can erupt any time. Jupiter's gravity pushes the volcano's activity. It squeezes Io like a rubber ball, and that results in volcanoes. You wish you could have been there with her, but right now you're going towards your next location. 
Days pass by, and at one moment, you see Earth from a distance. You feel a little bit nostalgic, thinking about your friends and family. But after a while, you get excited as you see your next destination. Finally, it's the Red Planet. You hear the distant and muffled sound of the spaceship landing on the rusty surface. Everything around you is just a barren, giant desert. The wind is strong, kicking up dust. That's how those huge alien sand dunes are made. And the storm will come these days, they say. Billions of years ago, Mars had liquid water on its surface. Lakes and rivers, maybe even life around or inside them. Its axis of rotation is a bit tilted, so Mars has seasons similar to those on our planet. When one hemisphere is tilted closer to the sun, it's spring and summer. The other hemisphere that's tilted away gets fall and winter. The atmosphere on Mars is way thinner than ours, so the planet can't trap that much heat near its surface. Air pressure on Mars is around 50 times lower than that atop Mount Everest. You arrive at the Space Hotel. Mars is the only planet with such hotels at the moment. On the other planets, you sleep in your spaceship, because they can offer conditions safe enough for people to stay there for a longer time. The staff of this hotel is great. They got used to tourists because Mars is the most visited location in our solar system. The food there is great, and you can't wait to eat it and get some sleep. The next day, you wake up at dawn to get ready for some skiing with your group. Days on Mars are approximately the same length as they are on Earth. It was snowing all night, but because of the dry, low-pressure atmosphere, snow never stays for too long, so you need to take a chance. Mars has amazing mountains and valleys, and those icy polar caps were so cool. Oh, and look at those volcanoes! The next day, a small aircraft specially designed to transfer you across the planet comes and picks you up for a day trip to Olympus Mons, the biggest volcano in our solar system. It's 16 miles above the surface, three times taller than our Everest. You land at the outer edge of the volcano. The peak is so high, it seems to go beyond the horizon. On the third day, you visit Velis Marineus, the iconic canyon system you could only see in pictures until now. Its network of chasms is amazing, five times longer and four times deeper than our Grand Canyon. At its widest point, it's 200 miles across. You decide to spend the next five days in the Southern Hemisphere. There's another hotel there where you can book day trips to numerous extinct volcanoes in the area. Everything is covered in dust in different shades of red, orange, and brown from iron rust. But the sky is dusty all the time. You even get caught in a storm once, so no one can leave the hotel the entire day. You look at the sun, which is a bit more distant than we see it from Earth. You miss your planet where you can walk around without special suits, feel the fresh breeze, swim in the ocean, or have coffee with your loved ones. There's one more place to see before going home. It's more dangerous and complicated to visit than the others. Cygnus constellation Kepler-16b a planet that orbits two stars and actually has two sunsets, so you'll have two shadows. The planet is made of gas and rock, so it's going to be tricky to land. But the new adventure is waiting, and time to set off!